Kyle Gunniger with the official of Brad Hoppy, uh, along with uh, Chris Jensen from CJ Spinnerbaits. Uh, had a fun two days up here in uh, central Minnesota fishing with Muskie and Guide Service. Hey everybody, it's mid-August, five days from the full moon. I've been looking forward to this trip. It seems like when the three of us get together, big fish get put in the boat. In this particular segment, all the fish are caught during the AM and PM major as well as the sunset time frame. Watch the power of the solar lunar tables influence the peak fish activity. It's been a long day, raining constantly, been trying different spots, hitting different things, stayed persistent, stayed positive. Finally um, got a break in the rain where we were able to get the cameras out. We uh, threw the cameras up quick, hit a spot where we saw fish earlier today, and uh, 52 inches of success, double cowgirl. It's an awesome day. She is. This big fat central Minnesota fish. Yes. Fight though. Yeah. We good. Fish First fish in the bag. Um, we came out early this morning after last night. You know, last night we got some late action right at dark. And uh, we just decided to come out this morning. Really overcast yet. Kind of looks like the, the clouds might break today, but put on the supermodel, black, black, kind of what we've been seeing fish on the last couple days. Got one in the bag. Kamikaze. Good job. <laughs> We're running right into the major right now. So again, we don't want to waste too much time. We want to get the fish back in the water, get the baits back in the water, try to capitalize on a big fish. About what, five, 10 casts before this, you had one up that was Yeah, nice. 48 to 50. Had a big fish up just a little bit ago, so looks like they're gonna start eating. 10 minutes before the major. <laughs> Little yeah. Pretty fish. Very really nice. pale. Right about that, what, 40, 42 ish? Yep. She should go away nice and strong. 
See ya. <laughs> Good job, man. Let's go get a big one. Yes. It's day two. Uh, we've got a little lull in the activity. Uh, we went for a few hours uh, without seeing anything, and we figured it would be a good time uh, to take a bit of a break. Uh, come in, get a bite to eat, relax a little bit. Uh, we're going out later. Um, this day is kind of setting itself up like uh, yesterday where the fish were moving early or late morning. Uh, throughout the day we had quite a bit of a lull and then had the, uh, the sundown activity. Um, checking the majors and minors charts, we've got uh, a major right after sunset tonight. Uh, anticipating good fishing, uh, Brad and I are going to go back out. Fortunately, Kyle's got uh, previous engagement uh, with a meeting. He can't join us tonight, but uh, very much looking forward to getting out on uh, a big group of fish that we've uh, been working for the last two days. And uh, by all hope we can get into some uh, some good fishing tonight again. Well, we're back at it. Uh, Kyle's not out here, so we brought out Kerry. Got Kerry and CJ in the boat this evening. Hopefully, we we'll get on some big fish. They've been looking good the last couple three days, actually. And the spot just keeps keeps showing us bigger fish. So hopefully, we can get on them. We got about oh, what time is it? A couple hours till dark, and um, the wind is laying down. Looks like it's going to be a really primo night. So we'll see what happens. There's a fish behind you. Start the evening. No. No. Or do you want a measurement on it? I mean, I think we can ballpark within a couple inches. Nice little chunk. Pretty fish. Yeah. Stars, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Pretty fish. What do you figure? Forty-three-ish. Yeah, right around that. Typically they'll shoot off. Shoot off. Jeez, well, CJ's just got a nice low 40 inch fish. And uh, like we said, you know, <laughs> working the majors. We're gonna get back to work here. We've got another six minutes or so before the major. We're gonna go back to our spot where we've seen most of the big fish today and yesterday. See if we can't get them to go. Yeah, same thing. Like CJ happened. got a little bit of uh, gill plate. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the sun right now. It kind of coincides with the major this today and uh, sunset major all at one time. We got to get on our big fish. 180 degree difference from what we had yesterday. Overcast, windy, but the timing, prime time. It's always good. It's right now. Let's do it. Let's go. Double cowgirl fish, slow rolling in the dark. Um, what more can I say about that? It's it's just real effective. It's a great way of catching a lot of fish. So we'll pull it out, we'll take a look, and we'll let her go. Boy, they got power right now. Come on in here, Carrie. Really nice fish. Cool. Bite me in the nose. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's ready to go. So. 
Let's get her back in the water. You want to move the net, Carrie? Yeah, that's true. I would love Nice little fish, though. Yeah. See ya. Cool. Pretty good light, isn't it? No, I got it. No, I got it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, that's pretty much a wrap. We uh, it's about a half hour after Carrie just caught her fish, and uh, we're gonna call it a night. And. We had a pretty good uh, couple days, and from the looks of CJ's hands, it was really good. <laughs> a little bit of blood on there. Um, we had a great two days. We seen a ton of fish. We got a couple good fish to cooperate. You know, a lot of low 40s fish this year. It's like cookie cutters out here, but they're super nice fish, and, and they're going to continue to grow really healthy. And then we got the big 52 incher last night. Unfortunately, Kyle couldn't fish, finish the day with us. But uh, we got Carrie to jump in the boat. Thank God we got an extra fish out of it. So it was really good. I'd like to thank CJ for coming up and uh, had a great time like always. It was a blast. So thank you. Hopefully we can do it again soon. <laughs>